Right guys, thanks for watching another episode of Cat Fishing Diaries. As you can see, we're back on the bank. I'm just doing a, a couple of laps of the lake this morning. Uh, it's last weekend of winter, end of February. It's, uh, it's freezing cold to be honest. Uh, quite a bit of snow last night, but it's it's cleared off today. Um, but the wind is, is freezing, so I'm having a good walk around. Uh, I'm on my second lap now, just seeing if I can see any signs. A uh, couple of claim pegs here already on the dam wall. So yeah, things I'm looking for. Any signs of showing fish, any signs of uh, feeding obviously, but it's going to be few and far between at this time of year in these conditions. Um, I know the wind's going to change. From a, a bit of north westerly to a, a southerly wind going into tomorrow, we've got 48 hours. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a good think about where we we pitch up. My brother's gonna be joining me later on. So yeah, these I mean these two swims I've just walked past have both been claimed, um, but the rest of the lake's pretty much empty. Everyone usually, I'm, I'm guessing it's a Friday, so people will turn up kind of after work as well. But people usually kind of head straight down to this deeper water now i do know from experience that back up the car park end though it's not as deep as down here there is still some pockets that go to nine ten foot and it's there's a lot more banks that are, are reed lined and fish do like to hold up in there <coughs> so yeah i'm i'm tempted to, to to get in one of them swims away from the rest of the anglers and uh, if it means I have to wait 24 hours for the wind to change the conditions to improve for that area of the lake then I'm guessing that's what I'm going to do but I'll keep walking, I'll keep looking and I'll keep you posted Cheers guys Alright guys so catching up with us now we've, we've like I said had a walk around the, the lake a couple of times trying to put the guesswork in really and see if we can see any signs of fish my brother's joined me now on the bank and we've decided to set up initially uh, in swim one. All the other anglers and all the pressure is right down the other side of the lake, down near the dam wall. Uh, so part of the thinking is to get away from that pressure. Um, the other part of the thinking is just being aware we're here for 48 hours and the weather is going to change. Um, late evening today and going in tomorrow, the wind's going to swing around. So we've got a bit of a breeze coming across the swim at the minute. And then as I say, as the wind changes, the wind will be at our back. Um, which I think will give us a bit more of a kind of an edge if any fish are going to move into this area got a chance of nicking a bite or two. So the plan is I've only got two rods out at the minute, as, I, as has my brother. Um, I've just gone out into open water, um, two bright pop-ups on, on the spinner rigs, um, just with um, a mesh bag with four or five boilers around each for now. Um, my brother's gone for one solid bag down the, the right-hand margin, just fishing um, close to the, the reeds, and then a Ronnie rig again out in open water. So. Yeah, we'll see how things go. I've had a couple of liners on each rod, so we're getting a bit of signs that there are fish in the area, and you've got to be in it to win it. So, as the session progresses, we'll keep you updated. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, chaps. So, <clears throat> just having a little walk up the bank. Not really much happened so far today. Let's have a look at this view. Look at that. Stunning. The sun's setting now over the hills. Not seeing any really signs of fish to be honest, but I've been getting steady liners throughout the day. You know, there's one been caught at the dam wall end. Yeah, but like I said, there's a lot of angling pressure down there. The wind's died off now, it's, it's pretty much flat calm to be honest. I said the weather report's looking good for tomorrow, so we're going to get up at first light, see what's happening on the water, and then make a decision whether we stick it out in this first swim or we up sticks and have a little move, try and hunt the fish down. But it's nice to be out, it's fresh. 
I'm enjoying it. I'm a little social. Just gonna get back to the swim now. Get the pan out. Have some nice juicy burgers. And yeah, let's see what the rest of the night brings. Okay. Well, good morning everyone. It's uh, <clears throat> about six o'clock in the morning. I've been up uh, first light, having another walk around the lake. Uh, nothing but liners for me through the night, but my brother did manage a, a really nice mirror last night. And we, you know, we'd, <clears throat> we got in the sack trying to keep warm because it was really cold last night. And I think it was about nine, half nine at night and his right hand rod fishing a solid bag up tight to the, the reed line margin just roared off one toner absolutely melted and uh, yeah he managed to land I think it was about 15 2 mirror um, really nice fish though give him a good good scrap so yeah he's happy uh, all my rods are positioned more in in open water so um, I don't think I have the option of like any reeds or features to fish to. Um, but I'm buzzing for him. I'm just up now, he's still asleep, lazy to act. <laughs> I'm up having a look, doing the graft. <clears throat> uh, not seeing any signs to be honest, I'm not seeing anyone else catching, so um, yeah, we'll probably stick it out in here now a, a fish has been produced. I'm gonna have a bit of porridge, try and get myself a bit warmer. And yeah, we'll we'll keep going. We've got another thirty odd hours to go. So yeah, fingers crossed. And if anything happens, we'll keep you posted as always. Cheers, guys. Well, it's about 12 o'clock now on day two into the Saturday. Um, my brother managed a really nice um, scaly mirror last night about half nine. Uh, both in our sacks keeping warm. Um, his right hand rod fished to the reed line down the back. Absolutely went into meltdown. And uh, he did really well, put up a really good fight. Managed to get a really nice fish. So the plan was to get up early this morning and uh, one of us managed it, but have a little look at this clip. So <coughs> we're both supposed to set our alarms at half six this morning to get up and have a walk around and see what was going on. My brother is fast asleep, snoring his head off and it's now 20 to 8 so there's only one and that is the tweak. <laughs> All messing aside, you know, he did his tuck it on the chin, we had a bit of a laugh. Um, just a bit about the rods then, so a bit of a change now. My right, Dan's had a reposition of his rods, which has allowed me to get my right hand rod right across um, over the kind of out of bounds area, fishing uh, tight to the, the next set of reeds down, looking like the fish are holding up there through the day, trying to stay warm just coming out every now and again for a little bit of a feed and then straight back in. Um, so if anything's going to happen, I'm, I'm hopeful that that's the rod that's going to do the business. Um, I have had a change on my left hand rod. I've changed that over now to a zig. Um, even though it's, you know, it's, it's cold, we're still in winter. This is a bit of a breeze. And we're checking the weather reports. It's looking like we are you know, in, a, in an high pressure period. So 
I'll, I'll put the adjustable out. I'm going to work it up and down the column. We can have a little cast around and see if we can uh, snag a curious fish. Yeah, if all else fails, then we'll just enjoy the social, put the kettle on, have a chat and a catch up, and hopefully at some point before tomorrow morning, one of the rad trips off. Go on then, how many have you had? Two fish, bruv. I've been asleep all afternoon. <laughs> Came out. Real take this time, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Chris has been watching me all afternoon. <laughs> Twat. Alright guys, so first fish for me, left hand rod that I just repositioned, a little very small scattering of the boilers around it and finally ripped off, so not the biggest, it's like a little stocky, angry little mirror, yeah, but it's more than welcome on, on my new rods, so we'll get it straight back in, get the rod straight back out, obviously the light is fading now so Hopefully we can get a few more in darkness. Good stuff. Well, good morning. It's uh, about half past six now. Just coming towards the end of uh, the 48 hour trip. And uh, it's been quite a turnaround really, a bit of an adventure. So obviously <coughs> as I started off, location was key. Having a walk around the lake trying to come up with you know what, what's going to be different what's going to give me and my brother the edge on this um, quite difficult um, water um, straight away I noticed the amount of anglers setting up in the, the deeper water down down the dam water I wanted to get away from that angling pressure if possible um, and yeah it's obviously lapping the lake come to swim one um, with some really nice reed line margins where the fish can hide away and and keep warm. One or two deeper holes um, if fishing out in open water. And it, it, it's paid off. So obviously in the, within the first 24 hours my brother had landed two nice fish. Uh, the first one was a really nice immaculate, I don't even know if it had been caught before that mirror. Um, really nice fight that was from the, the right hand margins just on a solid bag rig. Give him a right good scrap as well and then his second one come in. It's a bit further out into, into open water. Um, so yeah, re re really happy with the first 24 hours. <coughs> then, luckily the second 24 hours switched over and my rod started getting a bit of action. So again, the, the first one for me coming on my left hand rod actually in open water, um, just in a bit of an hole that I found. Um, and just keeping it simple really, just a, a really bright um, deception pop up. Um, fished on a spinner rig. That one's cast out with a <coughs> little mesh bag of, of boily crumb um, and a catapult of the fish mix boilers over the top. A um, little stocky but saving a blank because the pressure was on at that point. Um, that coming in towards the night, um, last night. Then my right hand rod that I've cast is about 80, 90 yards um, over to another reed bed. Um, I had a run on that at about 9, 10 o'clock. Um, by, by the time I got into it though, it was one of them at first I thought, you know, it's, 
to screaming one suddenly slowed down it's, it's taking me into the weed <coughs> so I was bringing it in could feel a few kicks um, it locked up a little bit but not for long and then started to pull loose so obviously bringing it in from distance um, took a while to realize but yeah once I got it close to the bank I realized it was just a ball of weed <laughs> um, the fish had managed to, to shake the, the hook out so I got that off got it straight back out in darkness and I must have got it a um, bit of luck straight back on the sweet spot because not long after that, about one o'clock in the morning, that one's ripped off again. And I was up and I was out straight into the fish. And uh, it was a really lovely um, scaly mirror. I was really happy with that. So yeah, overall five takes and four landed. Um, really difficult winter session. It's freezing cold. My toes are stinging and the, the ground's just solid. Uh, the water bucket's been just a block of ice each morning. Um, but no, really happy. I'm just going to start slow pack now. I'm waiting for my brother to wake up. I'm not going to tease him with any more pranks. Let, let him celebrate and have a bit of a, a sleep. He was also up helping me as well when I was into fish. Um, so I'll wait for him to get up and have a brew. Start to tidy up, packing up. But yeah, it just shows, you know, think outside the box. Um, just because, you know, everyone thinks the fish are going to hold up in deep, deep water. And, and I'm sure there are fish up there. I wanted to maximise my chances of getting a few fish on the bank and rather than packing you know, right next to other anglers. I've done something a bit different, thought a little bit outside the box. And yeah, our tactics have paid off. We've got a few nice winter fish on the bank. Um, so yeah, if anything else changes, obviously I'll update you. But for now, I'll, I'll log off, tidy up and have a nice walk with you.